Okay, 19th century boys' public schools, um, stage one. This is what we're going to look at in this particular clip. Remember, it was boys only, it was boy culture, it was games for and by the boys. They organised it themselves. The teachers at four o'clock or whenever they finished, they would just leave them to their own devices. They had lots of free time because they were boarding. They were boys with lots of energy and enthusiasm. So if they weren't looked after, then they would often get into mischief and bother. So poaching, gambling, stealing, fighting, drinking down the local pub. So stage one was a really tough time to be at school. Remember those key characteristics of Spartan, for instance? It was cruel, it was harsh, it was cold, it wasn't particularly warm. They didn't have the comforts of home there. The activities they played, childlike, like marbles, to the barbaric, like bare knuckle fighting. The actual school and the premises and the location often decided what sort of activities they, they played. So if they had cloisters or a walled area, they'd often play wall games. If they had vast expanse of fields, they would obviously play ball games, field games. Games that they brought from home, those popular recreations that they brought from home, those mob games. And because they were the sons of gentry, there was an air of res respect respectability to that, because they were upper class. So in stage one, in terms of the activities they played, those are some of the key points that you need to be looking at to answer this particular question.